Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Harriot, Geomatic Specialist. In this video, we will be looking at how to install SQL Server. This is the fourth module in Unit 1 in the online Geomatics and Geospatial NVQJ Level 3 program. We will also be creating a new database instance as well as learn how to manage our database. By the end of this video, you should be able to install SQL Server using Microsoft SQL software. You should also be able to configure a new database instance and install SQL Server Management Studio. Throughout the video, you will be exposed to the following employability skills. Collect, analyze, and organize information. Plan and organize activities. Work with others in a team. Use technology improve own performance, and personal management. SQL Server is a relational database management system by Microsoft. As a database server, it allows you to store and retrieve data as requested by other software applications. We will be using the Microsoft SQL Server Manager 2007 edition. I have my downloaded installation package for SQL Server and proceed to unpack this. This I was able to retrieve from the Microsoft download site. Keep in mind there are two components for SQL Server installation, the developer installation package and the SQL Server Management Studio installation package. It could run on the same computer or across a network. After unpacking, we will then proceed to configure our database instance during installation. In this segment, we will be looking at configuring the database. During installation, it is important that we correctly configure the SQL Server database. Now this configuration includes things like making sure that you use an instance name that will be recognizable. You will also be able to configure things like how users will access this database, whether the database administrator will issue usernames and passwords, or will the database administrator allow users to connect via a Windows authentication mode. You will proceed to complete your database configuration by selecting the features of your database to include features such as allowing your database to be distributed or replicated. You will also apply your configuration startup type, whether each feature will start automatically or if you will need to do a manual start. You can see the installation progress as it completes each step. Now, once you have been able to correctly configure these settings, you will be on your way. In this segment, we will be installing SQL Server Management Studio. After installing the basic edition, we now have a functional SQL Server installed on our server. However, in order to manage this, we make repairs to the installation in order to set up the Management Studio. This will allow us to create and manage tables. I already have the package in my list of downloads so I can proceed to download this and make a repair so I can add another component to my instance. Once it opens, I can add features to an existing instance. I can also run my installation from here to create a new instance. After installing my instance, I proceed to test this connection by going to the management studio and connecting to the server or computer where I install my instance, which in this case is called ArcGIS. And I'm using a Windows authentication mode to log in. Now that I've logged in successfully, this proves that my connection was properly installed. And I'll now create a database here for which I will use as my enterprise database in the ArcGIS platform. Thank you for watching this video on installing a SQL Server. You would have learned how to install a SQL Server using Microsoft SQL software, configure a new database instance, and install SQL Server Management Studio. And you would have been exposed to the following employability skills. Collect, 
analyze and organize information, plan and organize activities, work with others in a team, use technology, improve own performance, and personal management. I'm Kerry Ann Harriet. I hope you find this video useful when you are setting up your server on your own.